and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. As I continued trying to recruit people for the big play, I had to fall on this guy called, and get this, Crocodile. So, uh, who are you? My name is Crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy was serious about his name. So, uh, why the name? What is so funny, my friend? Well, I mean, uh, you're carrying an animal name. Why? What makes that funny? Calm down. Why the name Crocodile? Don't look at me with that smirk on your face. Calm down, buddy. Then I will understand. He's an agitated one. Nobody needs to do anything to wrong here. You hard because you stand up. You gotta calm down. You think you're trying to show your tough? I'm giving you, you a chance to calm down, Crocodile. I don't think he knows who he's fucking with, but he will soon. <laughs> I had two options at this point, either will rot myself a chooch that ain't even worth it, or carefully plan the time to which I will fucking make him suffer, and maybe, just maybe get out of his scot free. Yes, that is what I thought, my friend. I chose the second option. Jeez, trying to get acquainted here. Looks like you're the tough guy. I'm just gonna let him believe he's bigger for now. It's so cute. A little later, I pull Johnny and Joey's side so I can discuss some pressing matters. Okay. Not too complicated. We've got an issue. There's a guy that goes by the name Crocodile. He's over there. He's trying to act like he owns the place. We all know that's not true. <laughs> I think he's, uh, he's going to need to uh, learn the ropes around here. But anyways, we'll get to that later. Right now, I've got other concerns. I've got a plan, boys. A big plan. I don't plan to stay here forever, looking at fucking walls through windows like this. Jesus Christ. Since uh, those two guys over there, I don't think, uh, I don't think they're uh, on the same side. Quite frankly, some of them sound like those uh, fucking uh, Chern Russian Mafia that I uh, previously dealt with, you know, before coming in here. Anyways, I'm gonna set my anger aside here, because I got more important things to do. And that's to get the fuck out of here. Huh? Don't you agree? Wouldn't you like to get the fuck out of here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Johnny, you work in maintenance, so once you get to the communication station, you snag one of those radios, give it to the guard Mike, and he'll transfer it to me. Once we get our hands on the radio, I'll make a few calls. I'm sure there's tons of people out there willing to come and help us. You know, for a price and everything. Don't you guys worry, I'm gonna take care of everything. It's coming soon, so we gotta be ready. I made sure to let Synthesis know what was going on, and later decided to give it another go with Crocodile. So, Mr. Croc, you still haven't answered my question. Why the name Croc? Now, I'm not saying it's fucking funny, okay? So calm down, I'm just asking you, why yeah, crocodile? That's a smart decision not to say it funny. I'll, I'll fucking laugh at whatever I want to. That's the problem. But right now I'm not laughing. I'm actually asking you. Excuse me. Why the name say crocodile? One more time. I will laugh at whatever the fuck I, I want. What did you just say to me? Calm the fuck down. Look at this, boys. What do you expect? You think that now you got a lot of friends? You think that you can. What? Bully me into the ground? That is not going to happen. I'm sorry to interrupt one here, thing but straight. we're not friends. We're we're family. Eh, it's a big difference. Look, Croc, we could do this two ways, okay? You're fucking queer, if that's what you are. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I've been giving guy. this guy so many chances. I, 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 I'm not looking to fucking murder a guy again. I'm not looking to fucking knock you out, okay? I'm just asking you a question. Why the fuck the name Crocodile? You're gonna fucking answer me, or you're gonna sit right fucking down I, there. I don't answer to you. Well, that's really unfortunate, my friend. The next morning during work detail, me and Mike had a small conversation. 
Turns out he doesn't really like this crocodile guy either. That fucking guy's got a serious problem, I swear to god. I'm thinking. Just give me some time alone with him, and I'll handle this fucking case. Mike was really good friends with another guard called Patrick Trella. He seemed to share the same thoughts as everybody else about this croc. Crap. Uh, it's pretty messed up in the head. Yeah. Well, the prisoners, they said that a crocodile was no one's bitch. Yeah, they told me that too. And, uh, you want to make him someone's bitch, alright? I'll take him to the yard with another enemy. We're about to have some fun. Up you go, you're gonna have your daily exercise. Tony, Johnny, exercise. They will meditate. And just like that, it was time to show this crocodile what respect was all about. I love it. Do it now. Do it right now. Listen, man. I think we all know we don't need to do it yet. Help me guard! If you're wondering what happened to Croc, he's still alive, but that was the last time he ever disrespected me or my boys. Let's just say there was no witnesses. I couldn't help but think about my brother Bobby. He's still alive and out there, but it also just motivated me even more to get the fuck out. Some fucking day, Bobby. Some fucking day I'll come out there and fight you. Inmate Jack, uh, of murder of wife and child. I'll take him in and I'm gonna do a complete strip search with the boots, just in case. Um, and proceed to throw them into uh, Supermax if I do find any sort of contraband for now. Hey, you guys hear that? You're gonna have a new, uh... Yeah! Sounds like fresh fish to me! <laughs> I, I think I heard something wrong here, but did I overhear you say you killed your wife and child? Johnny, keep quiet. You'll have your time with him in the yard. Family's all we fucking got. Don't kill family. Fresh fish. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Go to the back of your cell with your face facing the wall. I'm gonna uncuff you and you're gonna raise your hand. You're Take that raise stupid your fucking hat off of yeah. uh, Your mom gave it to me, so... I'm gonna close the door and look away. Yeah. Fresh fish has got balls! Watch yourself. That's my fucking commander. Next time, I swear to God, with the stun baton, I will mark your face. I will make you my bitch. Do you understand? <laughs> uh, I might have acquired something that uh, our, uh, my my brother over there in that other cell might be able to use. Johnny planted the radio in the yard, so Mike took him outside during quiet time to go and get it. He pretended that we were looking for cigarettes or something. Right, mate, you look for them. I left them uh, over here. Keep on looking for them, inmate. Keep on looking for them. But it wasn't gonna be easy since Commander Matthew Williams was on shift. Hey, Mark, you got any food? You know, the new inmate I just processed, uh, he had a bag filled with pumpkin slices, so. I suppose I'll wait till I get down here. Yeah. You wanna go help the uh, corporal move them? You know, corporal's pretty not experienced with the inmates. He's experienced uh, outside. So. Corporal's up there with the uh, with super cannon nice. boy. He'll be fine. Oh, all right. Looks like if the rest of them are gonna do stuff they need to uh, guide them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure you're right here with me, too. Uh, uh, you boys still bringing them prisoners down to the yard? Go to the back, go to the back, go to the back. Keep your back. Keep your back to the commander. Alright, it may tell me when, uh, do you find them? I think they're down here. Hackers, if you're looking for them, and tell me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I think I found my cigarettes right here on the ground. <clears throat> so, what do you think you were doing just then, huh? I, I, I was checking to see the, uh, the bolts, you know. It seemed kind of rusted, you know. It's pretty easy. Check in to yeah. see the bolts. I'm just going to tie your hands behind your back. Back? All right, you can turn around. All right. It seemed the fresh fish was pissing off all the gods. You were just punching your pillow to fluffing it up a bit, right? Yeah, look. Look how dusty this shit is. I didn't say and you could walk over. <clears throat> Unfortunately for Mike and Johnny, the commander was able to overhear a little bit what they were doing and was very suspicious of them. That inmate stole uh, his cigarettes and then... Listen. Listen. Hey, listen. Huh? Stop the right yet. That's a no do, sir. This is my fucking radio, my personal belonging. You can ask for it. Order from your superior to drop that radio. I couldn't even sleep that night. All I did was sit there and wait for my radio. It was taking way longer than expected. After a while, Mike made his way back up to my cell. And what do you know? I ended up falling asleep. Tony. Uh, what? Oh, go your back of your cell right yeah, now, Mike. Yeah. The commander is odd to me. Apparently, he tried taking with the radio. He tried taking the battery. Gift from Johnny. Jesus Christ, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hate this. Thank you. All the way Mike, down. Thank you. Right. Made a hole inside the mattress and stuck the radio in there. Commander is on to me. He's calling my bluff, Tony. Now you're Jeez. Go left. What are you gonna do? If you even hint at going right, I'll shoot you. He forced me to drop in and he took the batteries out, so I changed them out. You'll make that call to whoever, but you let me know. No. All right, inmate, let's go to the yard. This made me realize that we may have less time than I thought. With the commander on Mike's ass, I may not be able to execute this plan. Good to know. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was happy to fully include Mike into this plan, and even happier to have some alone time with the fresh fish. <laughs> did you get that? I did. Everything's okay. <laughs> so is this the, uh, is this the fresh fish right here? Yeah. So, uh, looks like you got the proper welcome from the, uh, gods there. What's your name, Fresh Fish? Jack. Jack. Okay. Name's Tony. And that right there, that's Johnny. Hey, don't fuck with Johnny. <laughs> he packs a mean punch. <laughs> so, Fresh Fish, where you from? It's a nice backpack. From Tennessee. You're lucky. I like that backpack. I like it a lot. It's real nice, doesn't it, Johnny? Yeah, I think it looks real nice on you, actually. Uh. Um, I'm, I'm gonna turn my head right now. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna see anything. Yeah, see that? See? I'm the one in control here. And I want you to understand that. And you're lucky because I like my little piece of shit backpack. So I'm gonna let you keep yours. I want you to understand who's in charge here, Fresh Fish. Who's in charge? Say it. Tony. Say my name. 
Tony. That's fucking right. And who's this? Hey, John. There you go. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that guy has pissed me off a lot. Which guy? Hey. Oh. Alright. Keep an eye out if you see anyone coming. Here, Johnny, you come over here. From time to time, Johnny and I are selected to show new prisoners that this is serious. We push them around a little bit, give them a few cuts and bruises, so they don't start acting like king shit. You see the new inmate? Use it on him. Mike carefully slipped his knife to Johnny. All right. Go, uh, fresh fish. Go sound by the gate over there. Go over there. In case you know. Mike, mm -hmm. this man attacked you. He attacked me verbally. Yeah, sure you oh, did. Totally. You that's, did. That's still abuse. That's still abuse. Well, oh, I didn't seriously? Know if I'm oh, oh, oh. I asked you if you attacked him. That's a. Uh, well, I didn't know what type of mean, you know, that, meaning of attack. That's, that's how you're talking. Are you okay? Alright, Mike. I think you're gonna wanna go over there. I'm gonna go take a walk. Yeah, you attacked one of my guards. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna ask you to sit down for a second. I don't feel comfortable with you standing right there. Yeah, the corner's gonna do fine. You could tell by the piss and sweat that this Jack Sands guy was really nervous. You gotta keep in mind, this guy killed his wife and kid. He also has a tendency to piss everybody off. So it was time to, uh, rehabilitate him. So, uh, when I asked you if you lied to me, you lied to me. <laughs> well, I didn't know what type of meaning of attack. Well, it seems to me that you hurt one of my, uh, my guard's feelings. A lot. And he hurt me physically, so... Yeah, but that's, that's well, a there's job. There's family here, so <laughs> they could do that. You're, yeah, you're fresh fish. Hey, go, go, let him go! That's enough, that's enough, Johnny. Hey, hey, enemy, that's so right? Hands up right now, inmate. Hands up right now or get shot. Johnny just gave him a few cuts to remember him by. Better do it. Shot. Just in time for the warden's return to the island, we made it look like the fresh fish attacked Mike. I'm back from the mainland, and as I, uh, I said, I don't tolerate um, any bullshit. Yes, sorry, uh, Mr. Warden. No bullshit here. Get back on both of your knees, inmate. I'm gonna give you your last right. right. And you're gonna give me a last... Oh, come on, 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 Jack Sand. What are your last words? I don't want one last words. That's the thing. Thing. I can't. Come on. So come on. Bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.